What's going on guys, it's your boy Double X. I'm back with another video and it is gaming season, Christmas, Thanksgiving, January, February, March. These are the hottest months when the best games come out and I am numbering down the top five games that not only am I excited about, but top five games that you guys have to try out. Starting right off on the list, we have Assassin's Creed the Ezio Collection. Now this actually cheats the list because it's not actually a new game, it's just a collection of Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelation. However, However, from the Assassin's Creed series, Ezio Adetore de Farenze was the most famous of the Assassins by far in this series, undoubtedly my favorite and many other fans' favorite. I also believe that Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood were by far the best games in the Assassin's Creed series, and they made the most sense and they were pretty freaking epic. It's pretty awesome that Ubisoft is making a collection now for $60 for three different games plus the DLC. It's awesome that you can go back on next gen consoles and replay your favorite moment. Another Another game that sneaks on this list at number 4 is DayZ. Now DayZ has been around for a while, in fact it's actually been one of the highlights of PC gaming over the years. Now it originally started out as Arma 2, but there was a mod that came out making it into DayZ. And good news, it's now got its own standalone away from Arma 2. Some more good news. It is now coming to the next gen consoles. I don't think they're changing too many things around the basic concept of Arma 2. Maybe the map won't be as big due to the consoles not being able to run as high as performance as the PCs. However, they have said it's going to be very similar to DayZ on the PC. It's not only an amazing free roam zombie game, but it'll be multiplayer, so you can play with a lot of buddies. Next on this list is Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, I'm not gonna say I'm a Mass Effect fanboy because I've actually just beaten Mass Effect 1 and 2 this past couple of months, and I know that seems shocking considering the games came out nearly 7 and 6 years ago, but I kinda did the series a little bit late. But playing through Mass Effect 1 and 2 showed me how big of a mistake that was. Those games are unbelievably amazing, and I can't wait to play through Mass Effect 3 and Andromeda. Mass Effect is an open world space shooter role playing game that makes every decision you pick count and matter. It knows how to make epic, epic dialogue and really build its characters on you, get you emotionally attached, and then take it all away. The soundtrack is beautiful, the gameplay is great, the graphics are really well, and now, this being the first Mass Effect on next-gen consoles, it's going to be an absolute steal for every gamer out there. Coming in at number two on this list, we have got Battlefield 1. Now, I played the beta, and I put my thoughts into that video on what I think about the beta of Battlefield 1. It's actually already out on the Xbox, but I'll say just this one thing. Battlefield Battlefield 1 is going to be a revamp of Battlefield series in total. Battlefield 3 was the last real epic battlefield, so I feel like with this game, not only are you getting epic warfare, bombardment, aerial planes flying over your head, and getting the real surreal feel of World War 1, but you're going to feel those battlefield chills that you sometimes get, and that makes a very special moment. It'll be a franchise shooter, and it's no doubtedly going to beat out Infinite Warfare this year, making Battlefield 1 the number one most played shooter on the consoles. And finally, Taking the top spot on our top 5 games that you must buy is Skyrim Remastered. This is a little biased considering how much I love Skyrim, but I'm going to say it again. $60 for all the DLC, plus the vanilla game, plus mods for consoles. Unbelievable experience. If you haven't already played Skyrim, this is your chance. If you need to get your mind off of things, you go to this game. With a huge open world, lots of lore, incredibly new and difficult and challenging enemies, you can get lost in the story and roleplay as billions of different roles, make your character look as awesome as possible. And with the addition of new mods, it's incredibly easy to get immersed into the real world of Skyrim. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below for what you guys want me to do next. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's try and get to 100 subs by the new year. This has been Double X, signing out.